Hey guys, I'm Isel and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Ever want to play with those big fancy mod packs and get into some really cool mods? Build some really cool equipment like these swords or hammers and pickaxes? Well, you're in the right place because this tutorial is going to show you how to download and install Minecraft mod packs with loads and loads and loads of mods. So the first thing we need to do is go to Google. And here we're going to type in FTP mod packs. And it's going to bring you to feedthebeast.com. The link for this will be in the description of this video. Click on the link here and we want to go to the FTP app. Now, this app doesn't just do FTP packs, which are quite famous within the Minecraft community, within the modded community. It also is a launcher for the CurseForge mod packs. From here, you want to press download for Windows. It will download down here and you can see it says FTP app installer. It has a little wolf because now all big Minecraft mod packs are controlled by Overwolf, both FTP and CurseForge. We're going to click on open and then we're going to follow the steps here for the installer. So press next, create a desktop shortcut for FTP app. Yes, and I'm also going to create one for Overwolf. I've read the terms and conditions. Of course I have. And accept and install. So you can let this download. It'll take a few minutes. So now FTB app and Overwolf are now successfully installed. Press launch. And now the app is installed. Let's go to browse. And here we've got two options at the top. FTB and we've also got CurseForge. So if there's a mod pack that you want to play, let's say all the mods. Press enter. As you can see, it has got here the CurseForge mod packs also. You will see that there's a little reference as to what version they are. So if you want to play in 1.16.5 or if you want to play in 1.18.2, make sure to select the correct mod pack. Right now, I'm going to download a random mod pack. So let us search for one here. One of my favorite all-time packs for 1.7.10 is Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. If you want to play this mod pack, you just need to click on the green button over here to press get. It's going to ask me which version I want to pick. So this has got the stable version of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved 1.7, 3.1.0. Press install. And there are a lot of files in these mod packs. So this is going to take a little bit of time to download. So I'll be right back when this is finished. Okay, we're nearly ready. So now we can go to the instance, which means we can go to the mod pack. So now we have the Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved mod pack ready to play. But before I play, over here on the right hand side of the instance, if you're wondering where I am now, if you go to your library, you're going to see that Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved is here. Before you press play, just click on the picture. It brings you in here and then you go to settings. And I need to make sure that my resolution is matching my monitor, which it is. I'm also need to make sure that I'm allocating enough RAM for Minecraft. I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM on this PC. It's allocating four gigabytes of RAM right now. It's also in kind of the orange, which means that there's not enough RAM allocated. So I would want to allocate a nice bit of RAM because there's a lot of mods in these mod packs. And if you're not allocating enough RAM, then it can get a little bit laggy and clunky. So make sure that you're giving yourself enough RAM. It'll tell you how much RAM is in your PC and it'll give you the recommended amount in green here. I give myself a little bit of a buffer also. So now that that is done, I can go back in here, back into my library, and I'm just gonna make sure that that has saved. It has, so I'm gonna go back to instance and then I can press play. Windows Defenders come up with a warning here, so I'm just gonna press allow access. And then the mod loader is gonna kick in and there's a lot of mods in this mod pack, so it's going to take a few minutes for this to complete. And the game has loaded up. Here we are, Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. It's got 184 mods, and I would could go in and just create a new world. And there we are. I'm in. And we've got all of these mods. So that is, guys, really simple how to install mod packs in Minecraft. So if you're afraid to do it, it's actually not as difficult as you might think. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
it would be great if you left a thumbs up on this video and if you want to see more tutorials and mod showcases from me isol then it would be great as well if you hit the subscribe button so guys that's it for me this is how to download and install mod packs from minecraft hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video thanks guys hey guys i'm isol and welcome back to another minecraft tutorial ever wonder how to download off seriously <laughs> seriously <laughs> not even night time okay let's do that again